I know you make fruity zobo drink, but have you seen this kind of fruity zobo drink that is so different from the regular zobo drink that you know? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this fruity zobo drink that is so different from the regular ones. I mean, look at all of the ingredients that I have. I have the zobo leaves there, cloves, um, pineapple peel, some spices that's ginger and cinnamon i use this type of cinnamon and not the processed one this one gives you a good result i have apples i have soaked um dates i have lemon i have cucumber so these are all of the ingredients that i'm going to be using for this particular production i've already placed water on the heat and it's about to boil it's simmering so i'm going to add the pineapple peel into the simmering water so it has not boiled. Then afterwards, I'm going to proceed to wash the leaves, the zobo leaves. And it's quite small, but it's going to produce plenty zobo drink. Yeah, that's the secret to this recipe. So I already picked all of the dirt and then I washed it just once and poured it into the water. I gave it a good mix. And you can see it's already bringing out good colorful juice. While the juice is boiling, I'm going to grate my ginger and cut the um, apples and proceed to also cut the um, cinnamon so you can use a mortar or a grater or anything to just chop the cinnamon then cut the apple into tiny bits i'm going to add all of this into the boiling zobo on fire so i'll do all of that and then i'll proceed to add it into the boiling zobo now I'll add everything. So I mean the cinnamon, the chopped apples and the grated ginger and then I'll cover it so that it, it will boil. While it is boiling, I'll proceed to use this Ugerson slow juicer to juice my fruits. If you've been a subscriber, like if you know me very well, you know I don't like stress. Anything that will make my life easy. Sign me up, please. <laughs> so I'll be juicing my apple and cucumber. And of course, I'll be juicing this date as well. So the date, I already soaked it. I kept it in the fridge. If you are in a hurry, you can just boil it for a little while. So it's already soft. You want to make the job easy for your gadget. So I chopped the apple and the cucumber as well. And I'm going to proceed to juice it. Why you watch me juice this um fruit? If you would like to get this recipe for both small and large scale production, click on the link in the description box. It's going to be available there because this recipe, I use it, I sell it. Um, and that's why I'm not going to be giving out the recipe. But if you really want it, you can click the link in the description box to get access to it at a token. This is just a little way for you to support your favorite creator here. Now, if you would also like to get this juicer, I would put the description, the link to get it in the description box. I got it from Beams Marketplace. You can check them on Instagram. I would also put their link in the description box. Um, they sell other gadgets as well, but I got this, um, slow juicer from them. Really, really, it makes my work very easy. Anything I want to do, I just whip up one gadget or the other. In short, makes life easy <laughs> so let's proceed with the video i decided to juice everything together because this does not really have a lot of water and i didn't add any water to it cucumber has more water so i decided to do everything together so that the water from the cucumber would push out the juice from the dates so it makes a lot of sense i could have easily separated it like do the date first do the cucumber and the apples but i just mixed it together if you do not have a juicer and you cannot afford it at the moment you can use your blender blend it separately and then use a sieve cloth and that's a cheese cloth to remove the juice and trash the um the shafts so now the zobo has already boiled i'm going to pack out the juice from it and then if you realize that you can still add a little bit of water you can add it but if you want it to be very thick you can just leave it so i add a little bit of water to have more juice now everything is ready that's the zobo juice very thick you can see the small amount of juice that i use as uh, zobo leaves that i used and then here is my cucumber apples and the date syrup so i'm going to add it i don't need to sieve it now because i use the juice i'm going to add it straight into my zobo juice 
and then I'll give it a good, good mix. Once I finish adding the um, liquids, I'll proceed to add the lemon juice. This just serves as a sort of a preservative. You don't want to use this um, um, processed preservative. So here is the juice. Please note that once you add dates, especially date syrup, into your juice, the color changes drastically. So if you are buying a Zobo drink and you are being told that it's sweetened with date and it's so, so red, please watch out. Now let's move on to bottling the Zobo drink. These are 50 CL bottles. They retail for about 85 Naira, 90 Naira, 100 Naira or even more if they are very, very thick. You can get it at any plastic store around you. If you're in Lagos, Nigeria like me, you can get it in Ojota Market. And some other markets that I'm not sure of, Agege and some other markets. It comes with different colors of cover. And depending on your own brand color and brand theme, you can pick the color that you want. I chose black because I just felt like it. <laughs> now, you're going to pour your Zobo into the bottles. You can use a funnel if you are producing a large amount of Zobo. You can also get a bottling um, machine. There's one machine that does this so you just sit by it and then open the tap and infuse your bottle you can even improvise by getting a big um bowl and fix a tap get a plumber to fix a tap for you on the bowl so it makes your work very very easy by the way if you are new on this channel please subscribe to my channel my name is titi layo i forgot to introduce myself and i share recipes i share tricks hacks business conversations business ideas that you can start from the comfort of your home like this one so if you are new here please subscribe to the channel and if you've been a subscriber thank you so so much now once i have filled all of the zobo into the bottles i'm going to proceed to um, add my stickers so this sticker you can reach out to a graphic designer to design it for you you can use this kind of sticker you can use a round one and you just get it stuck on the body of your bottle align it properly and once all of this is done you cover it and then keep it right into the freezer straight up into the freezer because you can see that this um Zobo does not have any preservative aside the lemon. That's a natural preservative. So when you are selling this to your customer, tell them to shake it because once there's date inside, it tends to settle down. You know, there's date, there's fruit. It tends to settle down. Tell them to shape it, shake it. And of course, make sure you write out all of the ingredients that you use because some people are quite allergic to some ingredients. So mention everything that you use. Tell them to keep it refrigerated and all of those little, little to details if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you are new and of course don't procrastinate start now take an action till i come your way again next time my name remains titi layo don't forget i always say take an action start now start small dream big bye